Hey folks, it's Jim here. Uh, it's colder than a witch's tit outside, so uh, the shop pretty damn cold and uh, I need to get some propane to heat it. So, sorry about this, but I thought I'd do something a little different. This is a video on building my Eurofighter, how I started, how I chose the Eurofighter, and uh, it's got a lot of tips and tricks in it. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, please try and watch the whole thing, otherwise it affects my channel and maybe makes it not worthwhile continuing with movies. So anyhow, if you would, uh, please try and watch the whole thing. Uh, it's got some uh, pretty good ideas in it and it shows uh, how I did the Eurofighter. I did not have 3D printers in those days. This is probably 12 years ago. I uh, didn't have laser cutters or anything, so everything was done by hand, and this is how I did it. Enjoy the journey. So the first thing you need to do is figure out which aircraft you want to build then uh, acquire a bunch of images the more the merrier and get some walk arounds if possible. Now jump onto your favorite browser and type in Eurofighter blueprints and uh, select images to show all the images. To build an accurate scale model you want to uh, have blueprints that show the station such as in the uh, video right now. For the best results, uh, buy yourself a model kit of the aircraft you've selected. If it's within your budget, uh, get the very best you can, the most accurate, because we're going to be taking very precise measurements of this for scaling up. For scaling up, I have a very detailed video in my Takano playlist, which shows this and also how to apply panel lines, etc. So go search them out. In fact, look at them all. I used a vector drawing program and uh, scaled my model up to uh, the length I wanted, which scales everything else. Then I uh, print the stations out on a single sheet of paper and then glue that to a quarter inch uh, foam core board. I also add an indexing alignment mark to each station so that I can put a, uh, in this case, a steel rod through it for alignment purposes. If you have uh, CAD skills in 3D and the appropriate tools, you can also make the model in 3D, which I have done later on, uh, in, and you'll see these in my playlist under Takano and A6 Intruder. For the Euro, I use some uh, two inch uh, pink foam uh, board and some blue and mostly the uh, foam core. You do want to make sure that your stations are spaced exactly how your blueprints uh, dictate. Now add any uh, supports or stiffeners prior to uh, skinning it so that you don't get any deformity. I used a 6mm foam sheet and by the way all my stations were scaled down by 6mm around the per perimeter to uh, account for this so that the measurement is correct once it's sheeted. I also used a heat gun gently uh, to fo help form the foam around the shape of the uh, fuselage. Also, it's possible that you may have to hand uh, carve some foam or use a hot wire with a template to uh, get the shape you want. As the build progresses, you can use printed uh, templates as I've got it here on the uh, vertical step to get the correct placements and adjust accordingly. Once you're happy with the placement, you can start to uh, carve hot wire shapes and the part that you require and in this case, I've done the vertical stabbing foam with some balsa wood for leading and trailing edges. Try and be innovative in the use of materials. In this case, I had to uh, put these four AMRAM uh, scoops into the fuselage. And what I used there was just simply a cardboard tube that I found somewhere, I forget where, and it cut down the center and it worked great. 
as the model progresses just add the uh, detail parts uh, one at a time just do it in uh, small batches don't get overwhelmed uh, and you'll uh, before you know it you will have a great model once I have the majority of the model completed I then start to remove parts such as the uh, main canopy the spine and so forth so that I can finish them individually and strengthen them ready to make uh, the plugs for the molds if you need to fill cavities I use uh, expandable foam you know just the stuff that you use uh, for insulation works great at this point the main form of the uh, fuselage in this case has uh, pretty much taken its final shape and I'm now starting to uh, cover it with uh, two ounce cloth and resin and starting to add the uh, crispier details like in this case the uh, wing root which is one eighth plywood with the wing roots finished it's now time to start building the uh, wing plugs so in this case I'm building a framework that I can build the wings in because the Eurofighter has a curved gull type wing and is very very complex to build so now I need a wing plan so that I can finish the uh, wing jig and begin building the actual wings after and cutting all the wing ribs because again I don't have a laser at this point in time I begin to place everything position into the jig and start to build out the wings by sheeting the uh, tops first and then uh, work from there. With the wing tube sleeves in place I can now start to cover the entire wing ready to uh, finish to make the plugs with. At each stage of the build I keep checking the alignment of the wings to the fuselage to get that perfect fit. I've now made some precision jigs to align the uh, wing tube and square them up with the fuselage. This is where this is being done. I used a uh, chop saw to get perfectly straight edges. Applying a uh, kitchen saran wrap over the uh, main canopy area. This is going to allow me to use some uh, filler which will attach itself to the canopy plug but not to the fuselage so I can get a very nice crisp clean edge. Once I have a nice fit I can now clean up everything, add the framework and um, basically uh, finish the plug and begin making the mold as you see in the uh, image. So now I have the uh, canopy main plus the front finished and detailed I can now finish the molds for both of them. So now I have to make the canopies fit perfectly. On the Eurofighter these are recessed into the fuselage so there's actually a negative lip that everything fits into. So now I've made the front and rear canopy I place them onto the fuselage and then apply filler around the uh, base of both of these parts. The filler is now sanded and blended into the fuselage to create the recess. As you can see once the uh, parts are removed the recess is just absolutely perfect and flush to the fuselage. So now the uh, main bulk of the work is done we need to start uh, filling, priming, filling and priming again until we get everything perfectly smooth. At this stage it's time to start adding all the other parts to the uh, aircraft. For the outlet cones I'm going to uh, add a tire valve which will help release it because this is one part deep mold. Using ADPSI I can simply pop the part out of the mold very easily. And the simple test fit makes everything perfect. So while primer is drying and so forth and parts are being laid up I start to make the small parts and uh, place them on the main uh, fuselage to get positioning and recesses and alignment markers. So using the same procedure as the uh, canopy I'm going to blend the vertical stab section into the fuselage 
to get perfect alignment between uh, the two parts. I need uh, an exact alignment here because it's super critical. I previously uh, placed the uh, landing gear so that I could get uh, the landing gear bay doors uh, positioned. Using styrene or other materials, I'm now going to uh, make the outlines for the landing gear bay doors. Using the same technique as the canopy setback, I'm now going to fill around these styrene pieces, sand them down, remove them, and now you have the recess for the bay doors. With all the bits fitted and molded, it's now time to get the plug perfectly smooth and ready for molding. Using an outside source to cut my rivets, I'm now applying the rivets to the uh, vertical stab, making the mold and making the final part, which is pre-painted. I'm now adding surface de details such as access panels, maintenance panels, panel lines, and so forth. Once all the scale details are finished, it's time to start making the mold. The fuselage adds too many contours to making just two piece molds, so you have to add your parting planes appropriately so that everything fits eventually. So once you have all the moulds done, it's now just a matter of laying up all the parts, assembling the plane, then adding all the internal electronics, mechanics, etc. Uh, apply your finished decals, paint job and so forth. Finish off all your scale bits if you so desire. Then go fly, win some awards. This one first place uh, in 2016 in Coachella. So thanks for watching, ring that bell to be notified of any new videos and please subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Thank you.